There are 1,440 minutes in each day. I touch my phone nearly 200 of those minutes. In the last month, my computer has rested next to me every single night of the week. It is safe to say we're in a relationship. I can't sleep without checking Instagram first. Wake up to respond to emails, FaceTime with my closest long distance friend for advice. Last week, I shattered my iPhone screen and suddenly felt handicapped. I was lost without maps. However, would I get from one place to the next? Texts would come in and thank goodness for my beloved Siri. She read and replied to each one. She still played my favorite songs, the perfect DJ to my dancing heart. But it was weird because she kept calling me first world problems. Anyway, at the airport, I put on my earphones at the curb to avoid the chatty travelers. No, ma'am, I don't know where your gate is, and it doesn't matter where I'm going because you're not going with me. And sir, no more pictures of your grandson. See, I'm in my own world, filled with people who talk to cameras to feel connected to strangers halfway around the world. I'm busy Snapchatting with people I hardly ever see but keep up with through technology. My bestie is someone I've never met. She posts makeup tutorials and if I ever saw her on the street, she wouldn't even recognize me. All this flesh and dimensionality, all this reality isn't appealing without filters to minimize the sting of actuality and that's, that's probably why dating sucks. See, my eyes are always stuck on a screen, hardly looking up to even cross the street. We have become technology zombies. If it isn't on social media, we have a hard time proving it even actually happens when it comes to matters of the heart. It's no wonder we fall in love and have to learn how to communicate, have to practice putting words to the emotion of it, have to lose people we really love to understand how poorly equipped we are to handle all aspects of life if there are no undo buttons. I told him that I loved him. He texts back a smiley heart face. But that ain't never made up for the way I feel wrapped in a lover's arms. These computers have never provided the tender of my six-day-old niece resting on my chest. We are caught up in the ease of connecting, but we, we never actually have a hold of it. And it's a pity, because I feel, I feel damn good. My body is warm and soft. My hair, my hair smells like a dream. My heartbeat is strong in my kiss. Well, my kiss is unforgettable, but as long as these phones are in our hands, we are missing out on everything else there is to touch.